In this video, we will demonstrate how to don the Petzl Avo Bod Fast Harness. This video is provided for skills maintenance, and users must have received formal instruction before using this equipment. As with any piece of equipment, check the harness prior to use. It is your life that depends on it. Inspect the webbing, buckles and hardware of the harness for correct operation and integrity. Lay the harness on a clean dry surface. Unbuckle the leg buckles. Holding the waist belt, step through the waist belt with the leg padding to behind your leg. Take care not to step onto the leg loops or the buckles. Lift the harness up to waist height and gently tension the waist belt, just sufficient to hold onto your waist. Do not fully tighten the harness at this point. Unclip the shoulder strap carabiner and whilst holding this carabiner, place the shoulder straps over your head and onto the shoulders. Reattach the carabiner to the fabric attachment point. Do not reattach to the aluminium D-ring. Tighten the carabiner finger tight and check by squeezing the carabiner. The red indicator on the carabiner must not be visible. Adjust the rear shoulder strap buckle to ensure the dorsal attachment is not higher than the shoulders and not lower than the armpits. This is best done by another person. Adjust the shoulder straps to a comfortable, non-restrictive position. Recouple the leg buckles and adjust to a comfortable tension. You should be able to slide your fingers between the straps and your leg. If not, it may be too tight. Keepers are provided on the leg straps. However, if these are not suitable, tuck the strap tails in behind the leg straps. Readjust the shoulder and waist straps to comfortable. Ensure the shoulder straps are not too tight and a full range of vertical movement is still available from your back and arms. Place strap ends into keepers. A number of attachment points are provided on the harness for different purposes. Wearers must be aware that the attachment points are not all the same. The ventral or waist attachment point is provided for the connection of work positioning systems, such as directly to a descender or rescue line. This is not a fall arrest point. The lateral or pole strap points are also provided for the connection of work positioning systems. These must not be used for the attachment of fall arrest systems. The sternal attachment point is provided for the attachment of fall arrest systems or work positioning systems. The dorsal attachment point is provided for fall arrest systems. This is the preferred fall arrest attachment point as it distributes the weight to the legs during a fall arrest. AVO harnesses have an advantage in case of a fall on the dorsal attachment point. In this situation, the user's weight is automatically transferred to the leg loops to limit pressure points. The post-fall position produces less stress and allows the user to stay suspended longer while waiting for rescue. After every use, training or operational, and for monthly inspections, Inspect the harness for damage, fatigue or missing components. If in doubt, contact CFA's Protective Equipment Department.
Inspect all webbing and stitching for discoloration, fraying, wear or fatigue. Remembering to check both sides of the stitching. Inspect hardware components for correct operation and fitment. The screw gate carabiner should screw and unscrew easily and be free from any dirt or grit. Do not lubricate this carabiner. Inspect the leg buckles. The yellow press buttons should depress easily and be free from any dirt or grit. Check for correct fitment and both yellow locking tabs lock correctly and fully. If the harness is dirty, wash in warm water only, no hotter than 30 degrees. For stubborn stains or other contamination, Contact CFA's Protective Equipment Department for advice. Do not use detergents or chemicals to wash or lubricate parts of the harness. Dry the harness out of direct sunlight and in an environment no warmer than 30 degrees. Periodic inspections such as monthly should also include inspection of the harness information panel located in the waste belt. This panel contains the specifications and manufacture date of the harness. Finally, after every use and periodic inspection, complete the PE record card. Further information can be obtained by reading the Petzl instruction manual provided with the harness or it is available online.